So I'm back in my Etch-A-Sketch for this project because what I want to do is I want to make a game where the turtle goes and eats some eggs. When the turtle collides with the egg, the egg disappears. So basically we ask for some input from the user. If they entered a certain direction, we compare it. But what we also check in that forever loop is if the turtle is a certain distance from the egg. And if that distance is small enough, we go ahead and make the egg disappear. And then we move to the next one. All right, so what I want to do here is I'm back in my Etch-A-Sketch program, and before I draw Calvin, I want to go ahead and create a new turtle that's going to draw some eggs. So I'm going to do egg one. It's going to be a manual process. We're going to have multiple eggs. That's why I called my, this first egg, egg one. You're just going to copy and paste this with as many eggs as you want on the screen. And we're going to just create a new turtle, go into the turtle module, grab the turtle class, store that in egg one variable, uh, change the egg, sh egg one, shape dot shape uh, let's go ahead and change that to a circle it's kind of egg shaped it's roughly the shape of an egg all right and then let's go ahead and do egg one dot pen up now what this does is it lifts the pen up off of the canvas so it's not actually drawing because we're going to have it move in a certain spot but we don't want a line pointing to the direction it moved in that's just going to look awful so we just go ahead and pick the pen up so it's not drawing and then let's go ahead and do egg one. Now we need to tell it to go to a certain position. Now this takes a coordinate. It takes an X and a Y. So play around with some values here. The first value is going to be your X. The second value is your Y. So I'm doing mine at 130. You're, you could do it at 60, 40. You could do it whatever numbers you want to enter in. Play with the numbers. Say this a lot. Make the numbers unique so your eggs are, are sporadic all over the screen. And if we wanted more than one egg, I would just copy and paste this, change this number here, and change these numbers there. That's it. That's all we have to do. All right. Now that we've created the egg, now we need to go into our forever loop, which is way down here. Remember the while true. This is a forever loop. And we need to actually, well, the very first thing we need to do is we need to measure the distance that the turtle is from the egg. So let's go ahead and call this distance um, collision because we're checking a collision. And we're going to set that equal to um, Calvin, which is our turtle, um, dot distance. Now this distance is a function and it takes some parameters. It takes an X and a Y. But egg one has an X and a Y. Let's just pass that in there. And now the this variable is measuring the distance between Calvin and the egg. Now we can put in an if statement in here to check to see if, well, if they've collided. So let's go in here and let's say if collision, which is a distance is actually a single number. Um, they're actually measuring the distance between two points. If you've ever used the distance formula, Python's doing that for us. We didn't even have to tell it which formula to use. It's just doing it. All right. And we're going to say that if that is less than 20, so if the distance between the turtle and the egg is less than 20, and 20 is pretty small, so you have to get pretty much right up on top of the egg for it to collide, then we're going to go ahead and let's change egg one dot color. Let's change its color to white because our background is white. So if we make the egg white, it will look like it disappeared. It's still there, but it'll kind of hide it. All right. What else do we want to do? Well, we want to print out a statement, um, U1, which if you have multiple eggs, maybe don't do this, maybe just change the color to, to white and move on. And then we want to, for me personally, I'm gonna break out of the loop, you're not gonna break out of the loop. I write this word break because that will actually break out of the forever loop and get us out of the code so it stops asking for a direction. Again, this is for me so that, it, that I don't get an infinite loop that crashes my computer, but for you, don't include these two things. Just change the eggs color to white. All right, let's run it and see what happens. So I run it, ooh, my egg moved on the screen, cool. Let's get my turtle there. So let's move him right. Oh, I have to be clicked in here. Go right, then go right again. Now go right again, get after that egg. Go right one more time, let's see, am I ready to go up? Ooh, I'm not quite close enough, let's go right one more time. And the egg disappears, it turns it to white and it blends in with the background. And it prints out U1 and we exit the loop down here. It's no longer asking for me to pick a direction because I use that break tag to break out of the loop. Again, you're not going to have a U1 message and you're not going to have a break tag because you're going to have more than one egg. But maybe put that in when you hit the last egg. I don't know. Get creative with it. Play
play around with this code, build a turtle chases the egg game, and have fun with it. I can't wait to see what you get on the showcase.